welcome to the fourth day session of this online course on outcome based education curriculum design teaching learning and assessment strategies i really enjoy three days of this program i learned many things while presenting the content to you spontaneously i could get many examples in course of my lectures and today when you consider 42 years ago when i joined and now today there is a great revolution going on in the world for dissemination of knowledge freely from the best teachers in the world best institutions in the world for the new developments for the latest advances everywhere today even a student in a remote village from less privileged communities if he has great passion to learn if the government provides sufficient bandwidth for rural areas the disadvantage between the haves and have nots is very much reduced today today there can be many ekalavyas in rural areas because of this open education free and open educational resources revolution if he has passion to learn any subject he can do it at par with any other student in the best institutions born to in the elite families all resources available the same kind of resources are available for this student also the knowledge gap between one country and another country will be greatly reduced this will be this revolution of free and open educational movement it's going on as a movement parallelly for the business resources i am extremely grateful to those great institutions to those great people great teachers in the world who are keeping their videos their assignment their courses their online courses open to everyone anybody can learn that at any point of time anywhere anytime that movement hats off to that movement even in india our ministry of human resource development has started the swayam courses online swayam prabha tv channel 24 by 7 to meet the educational requirements of students in secondary education and higher education both and you have nptel essentially for many engineering programs and some iits especially iit bombay spoken tutorials is doing has been doing tremendously to disseminate knowledge on many many relevant courses job oriented courses in the self learning mode so with this at the same time these free and open educational resources are licensed under creative commons license creative commons license is another great organization parallel to the copyright acts of different governments there is creative commons license organization which is doing tremendously a great service to the world to the world of knowledge in giving licenses to the open educational resources so once you some of you 
after this lecture and or in course of time may develop your own open educational resources some of you may use other open educational resources in your classroom teaching to create excitement to create motivation to give assignments at higher cognitive levels right to have even your students also can contribute to the learning process today whether it is inside the classroom or outside the classroom or around the world it is learning together learning together in the process of learning together new knowledge is added to the world therefore if you consider two revolutions are going on in the world one is internet revolution another is knowledge revolution three revolutions knowledge revolution and the third one is free and open educational movement that's also going on so these three will definitely bridge the gap between the countries between the haves and have nots so with this brief introduction let us see what are the learning outcomes of this online lecture session yeah all this i have discussed a great revolution towards quality education in the world indian universities colleges and schools can be great beneficiaries of oer right so it is the need of the our wide propagation on the use of oer in teaching learning and assessment among the teachers and students is the need of the our the appropriate use of oer can bring in excitement motivation towards learning self learning lifelong learning among both teachers and students it's not only for the benefit of students for both the teachers and students today because the knowledge explosion in many disciplines most of the disciplines knowledge is updated so fast the teachers have to learn simultaneously along with the students in order to cope up with the knowledge explosion in order to update themselves therefore these we are are useful for both the teachers and students not only for students and developing an interesting online course of good quality most of you are capable of developing online courses there may be some senior faculty among yourselves they may develop immediately some of you after 3 or 4 years of teaching experience you can develop a very good online course provided you have mastery in the depth of knowledge and you are able to have skills pedagogical skills select appropriate teaching methodology and also appropriately using these oers you can create you can develop an excellent online course by which thousands of students will be can be benefited today some of the courses online about modern teaching methods active learning strategies in our discipline how to select a problem to give for teaching think pair shared strategy what are the different kinds of assessment strategies so there are even teaching methodology is undergoing great revolution even assessment strategies there are many new things added so we can update ourselves not only with reference to knowledge with reference to pedagogy the reference to assessment strategies we can update and then we can do give our best to the students oers are also great resources as i have already said to students for learning independent learning and then lifelong learning and they are very useful as i have explained in the development of massive open online courses which acronym is moocs in creating motivation and excitement among the learners while doing the course in developing learner centered moocs which is necessary in outcome based learning learner centric moocs can alone be useful in outcome based learning even in formulating course outcomes 
at higher cognitive levels like apply, analyze, evaluate, create, we can take the help of OERs. In using appropriate combination of teaching learning strategies, providing appropriate learning materials, appropriate learning materials to the students. You see, in our lifetime, we cannot discover new learning materials any, but lakhs of teachers all over the world are involved. The best institutions in the world are involved in developing learning materials. Now, as teachers, we have the wisdom of selecting appropriate learning materials. We need not develop new learning materials. We can select appropriately and then make use of them appropriately in our classroom. Assessment tests that OERs are useful. So let us see what are these five different kinds of vocational resources. The open educational resources means the acronym is OER. We see five R's. Five R's. It is called five R's. Means one R stands for reuse. Another R stands for revise. Reuse means you can use the content in a wide range of ways in the classroom, in a study group, on a website, on in a video. You can use it. That, that kind of OER which is available, whether it is in the form of a video or PPT or article or photograph or artwork, anything you, you reuse, that is one kind of OER. You can revise. Remise, that means the creator of OER will give you permission under Creative Commons license to revise. The original video you revise, take something best of it, you revise, customize it, modify, alter the content itself. You can translate into another language. Suppose it is available in English, you can, if you want to use that into in some other language in school education especially you can translate it into that language you can remix you can combine several oers and then remix and then develop a new oer and get so creative commons license so the same thing use revise remix redistribute all this retain so all these are explained in much more detail here. Then redistribute, share the copies of the original content, the revisions, or your remixes with others. For example, give a copy to a student or to a friend, to anybody. You can redistribute freely. With, if you are permitted under Creative Commons license or open licensing, both are there. I will give examples of everything. Then retain, that is another one. Make, make it own and control copies of the content. You can download, duplicate, store, anything. These are five or different kinds of open educational resources. One, once again, what are the five ones? Reuse, revise, remix, combine the original or revised content with Another way you are to create something new, okay. Then redistribute, retain. These are the five different kinds of OERs. Those, those are available in the world. Now, what are the examples of OERs needed in classroom teaching and developing MOOCs content? We can use OER in our regular classroom teaching. We can use OER in developing an online course, some of you in course of time have to develop online course, okay? The future is a blend of classroom teaching and also online courses, that is the future. So all of you must equip very well with creating you OER, using OER, and then you should be very comfortable also in downloading 
uploading the content you should be comfortable with learning management systems use of learning management systems all of you must undergo a short term course on activity activity based not uh, lecture based activity based you should be able to use moodle which is a very good uh, learning management system now what are the examples videos on any subject in any discipline images and photographs oh yeah sir available you can use present them in several case studies several examples to motivate to give analogies you can use images and photographs even some of them create humor related to the subject but create humor see this is a wonderful thing whenever you present a video or image or photograph related to the discipline at the same time it creates humor the students will never forget that right so that is a combination of humor and the concept i would consider that is one of the best oers and ppts with animations ppts with embedded photographs flow charts etc right so these are good oers simply slides verbal ppt you cannot make that as a best oer you can use it in the classroom under certain conditions right but ppts with embedded photographs flow charts diagrams that is a good oer databases to give related data very often we have to present certain data related to a particular example to discuss to make them understand the concept more clearly in order to interpret the data you may be discussing one kind of database in the class but in the form of assignment you may have to give another database in the examination you have, you may have to give another database ask them you analyze and then interpret and then give the conclusions like that for that purpose also you can make the best use of oer the numerical problems there are many university websites who put online courses in their websites there you go through the assignments there will be several numerical problems several real world problems several multiple choice questions for self assessment for the students right so how to set multiple choice that's how why i am in software any field today to teaching can be done using a tool using a software some softwares have applications in a variety of disciplines right so then models explaining the concepts you can get that that will be a wonderful thing so one model the best model if you use the students can have the concept very close to the reality so some best teachers they have in the native warangal also some teachers develop very good models in uh, especially in mechanical engineering teaching models i think uh, you go through the website somewhere they may be available okay. case studies for analysis very good case studies are available especially for business management then uh, computer science or then uh, commerce very good case studies are there for analysis interdisciplinary case studies examples of these field studies yesterday i have shown one example of field study related to geotechnical engineering so like that several examples are there virtual labs and experiments actually this learner centric moocs they are suffering definitely from the laboratory skills the process skills right so we can you the theory courses online but how the students can develop the laboratory skills by doing the experiments you see that that skill that psychomotor domain can be developed only when they actually do the experiments now 
to some extent to know to see how the experiment is going on to record the data to analyze the data to come on, come to the valid conclusions there are virtual labs available iis bangalore has triple it hyderabad also has a virtual lab and many some of the iits have these virtual labs some of the western universities also have these virtual labs free and open anybody can register and make use of that and the experiments only thing is these cannot be substitute for actually performing the experiment by hand but other than that the process skills one can learn even through virtual labs and experiments that means there and you have e books another great we are you see there are commercial books today available for some of the books are very costly especially foreign publications though they may of be very good quality 1000 rupees 1500 rupees students from very poor background how can they purchase therefore e books great revolution they are available for every, for most of the disciplines e books are available now today only thing is the student has to be guided in order to find out the source of oer where where you can get this e book so that initially teacher has to guide the student after some time the student can go ahead on himself or herself other tools for explaining the concepts easily and self learning by students can also be there for this oer 